Hello, my name is Steve Mahari. I'm the Vice Chancellor of Massey University. I'm here on the Albany, Albany campus here just on the north shore of Auckland and I think we're talking largely to students from, from this area, so good to see you. These are short, sharp video logs that I do now and again with particular parts of the uh, student body of, of the university. And today, because I am in Albany, I'm with President Brower, who has just won your second election, I think, here Absolutely. on this campus, so it's good to see you. What are the issues that, uh, uh, that are on people's minds here at the moment? I guess one of the bigger things at the moment, we're talking to postgraduate students about uh, the fees for next year. Um, a lot of good feedback we've heard from the students, um, which was asked by the university for us to go and find these students to go and talk to them about it and make sure that they are uh, decently consulted. Mm. Um, some other things, uh, we have very good um, buildings on this campus, so we're looking forward to continued growth, um, which is quite exciting. Uh, some of the new things that uh, you can see around this campus is a new library um, and other things like getting a new student amenity centre and accommodation on campus. And a new bar of course was a big uh, big thing for opening this year which is great. Great right, together. Mm -hmm. Orientation was fantastic for having a new bar. Uh, sold out events all year actually. Mm. Talk about buildings, this is one of the things I guess which is on a lot of uh, people's minds is where we go from here. The library is going to be finished in November and I uh, can buy, hopefully, the Prime Minister officially in April of next year, uh, but in New South to November. Uh, then we've got to look to what's to do next, and, and on the books would be preference for you. What would you like to see on the, this campus? Well, the association building on this campus would be a good one, uh, and accommodation to bring up the uh, campus spirit. And the two things that really make this, this happen really are money and money. And, and what we're trying to do with the accommodation block is we're trying to look at whether we can get the costs of the block in line with the rents that would be applied to the people who stayed there and if we can get that then we can move ahead and we've got uh, some work going on even right today there's some people up there having a look at that site because they have to cost out what it would mean to do the site work so that's that's being explored and then close to that we're looking at the idea of a student centre which would rely really on on the students wanting to, to put some financial input into to that um, we built stage by stage so it was was uh, able to grow as the, as the campus grew, do you think students would uh, smile on the idea of putting part of their money into a student amenities uh, building? I think for a student run building itself, uh, it brings a lot of um, greatness to make sure that it's their building. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is that we're quite lucky that we've got a historical agreement that we will be committing some sort of financial arrangement to this building mm -hmm. uh, to ensure that we can continue to have an independent voice uh, on this campus. That's, that's a good word to use because I know things like uh, student association voluntary bills are back on the agenda again at the moment and I have to say my own opinion is that this should not even be a question. The students association on this campus and on all, all of our campuses great to work with and, and if they weren't there I think there would be a major loss not just to students but to the university as well so unequivocally uh, the university is behind the notion of keeping these uh, associations together and doing their work. Well, uh, I'll finish there because we try to keep these as short as we can, but if you are interested in anything that we're doing or the Students Association are doing, we'd both love to, to hear from you. Uh, easy to get in touch with us in terms of just the email will be fine. Uh, particularly though, it'd be great to hear about what you think about the campus right now. Is it working for you? and uh, whether you agree that things like an accommodation block and a student centre would be at the top of your agenda, and in particular whether you would see it as, as a reasonable thing for us to uh, be essentially levying students uh, to help pay for that student centre, which would of course be under the control of students and right in the centre of, right at the heart of, of this campus. Uh, enjoy your studies. I hope you're enjoying the, the beginning of spring, which is typically wild and weather, and we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks for, for calling in.